Hey, uh, I hope you can able to see my screen here. So uh, today uh, I would like to show a sample JMX application uh, and how to deploy it on a Kubernetes setup. So in order to do so, uh, this is my sample JMX application. It basically takes two numbers, and this is something you will find in the internet. And you would be able to uh, sum these two numbers, okay, uh, based on uh, based on the decimal places. So if I run this particular thing, Java minus jar uh, sample uh, dependencies is jar. You can see this is asking for a first number, enter the second number. Yeah, you can see it's showing the sum of it. Now, if I connect it via J console, okay, so you can able to see it in the J console UI. And most probably, uh, this is my J console, and I can connect it in SQL connection, and I can able to see the corresponding bin that I have defined it here from CA example attributes and decimal places. Now it's two. Now if I just make a change here and go back to my application. And uh, yeah, you can see now it's rounded to one decimal place. So this is a simple JMX application. Now what I need to do, I need to deploy it on the Kubernetes uh, and to see it how it's working. So first what I need to do is uh, I have created a simple Docker file in order to create the image. And you can see, like, uh, this is basically from the host pane. Uh, this is basically the jar file, which I just run. Uh, this, is, this is the same jar file, OK? Then this is the host name on which uh, this is basically the host name of the Kubernetes host. This is the JMX port number. I put it as expose it to the JMX port, OK? Now, if I run it, it will create a, a simple image, OK? And once you create that image, okay, you can have a simple Docker file, something like that. Okay, so uh, you can see this is the name of the image, and since it's running on port 4000 as a JMX RNA port, I'm I'm mentioning it here like we need to expose this particular port 4000. So this is a Docker Compose file. Now if you now, uh, if you run this, uh, run a compose utility over this compose file, so let me show it to you. Uh, so uh, let me stop the J console for the time being. Yep. So that's done. And let me see. the position as well. So uh, if I do a, so this is where my Docker Compose file is. Okay, so this is what we are seeing it. And there's a utility called Compose, uh, and we'll just convert it Docker Compose.yml, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, you need to put that particular minus F command. And you will see, like, it will create basically two, uh, one deployment and one service, okay. Now, if you go inside this deployment and service file, so it's basically doing uh, a similar kind of thing, okay. So it's basically taking this image, it's the name of this JMS sample, exposing the container port, and I have a service uh, which is a load balancer service and which is exposing this particular port. Now once that is created, what I'm doing doing here is I am trying to uh, do a 
uh, or cube CTO. Okay, so cube CTO get parts. Okay, and cube CTO get service. So I'm I'm here in a default node here. So now if I do cube CTO create minus F, and if I do a deployment YML. And the service YML. Okay, both of them are created. Now, once you look at this get service, so you can see there is a cluster IP, which is a shot of, uh, uh, which is exposed here. Okay, and uh, yeah, so there is a cluster IP uh, which is exposed here. And if you do QCTO get parts, okay, so you get uh, uh, JMS sample that is the uh, particular port. Now, how can I access this uh, environment? Okay, so the way basically I will be accessing it is I will do a port forwarding. So QCTO port forward, okay and you provide this particular uh, you provide so it's saying that is forwarded uh, the 4000 port which is sort of exposed here is being forwarded to this particular now you just to go back here and do a um, yeah so do a uh, your console Okay, and if you do a J console here, now uh, you should be able to connect it by localhost 4000. Okay, so if you connect it, you will see like. Uh, just asking for an insecure connection. Yes, you said. Okay, you go to the MBINs and you will see the similar kind of MBIN is already there. So, um, so this is the way basically you can um, you can create a JMX and you expose its uh, uh, various port, uh, various JMX parameter to the Sun management, JMX remote, and other things. Okay, so the one thing to important is you need to make sure that you are sending this JMX remote local only equals to false. And for my case, I just put authenticate is false just to simplify the case and make sure the RMI server host is the host name on which you are applying. That's it uh, from my side. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Again.